channel from Hope Church Downham and today's devotional will be based on Genesis chapter 41 verses 37 to 57 and this sto this part of Joseph's story is basically when it shows him being from rags to riches basically because now the gift that the Lord has blessed him with uh, has given him grace to the bet is given him the grace to bear. Now he's going to be able to prove that he really is hearing from God and he really does have the the gift of interpreting dreams and also dreaming dreams. So his gift has now unlocked the key so to get to the riches. And so now as he was able to interpret the dreams correctly for the king or the pharaoh of Egypt, he was now elevated to be like the prime minister of Egypt, which was quite amazing. And so he was able to really take control, take charge. And Pharaoh told all the people to go to him and he will have to tell them what to do. So that's amazing because now from nobody believing him and everybody thinking that, or no one's believing him, but also it was a lot of envy from his brothers, especially. So now he was able to even marry a beautiful wife and name one of his, his first son. He was able to name them and the, his, the name of his first son basically means that is he can forget all of like the bad things from his family. And then the second son was about how now he's going to have a fruitful life. So it's just showing how God really was able to change his life around. And that's a, that's a divine grace over Joseph. So Satan tried so many things and did so many things to kind of bring Joseph's spirit down. But Joseph stayed strong and he stayed courageous and he stayed true to what the Lord was telling him that the dreams that he had and the gift that he had kept him strong and that grace over him was really what kept him through so nothing could silence him like Satan wants him to be silent Satan doesn't want him to have any glory that will now that glory of God to show God's glory but the Lord said no and the Lord allowed Joseph to go through the tough times for, to be able to get to the beautiful times that he's in now where he's been able to rule a whole country and then have enough money have enough food have enough things now he's not in lack at all he's in a very comfortable position so I believe that this is just amazing grace over Joseph's life so and it's undeniable and Satan, of all his attempts to try and shut him up, of all of his attempts to try and like get rid of him, Satan was again unsuccessful. And again, God's amazing grace prevails. And that was what was quite important. That was like the highlight of this, these verses was about God's amazing grace and how he can turn something, transform a situation for you.